The Earth was living in the last stages of the Mesozoic era, namely the end of the last Cretaceous 66 million years ago. At the time, gigantic animals were widespread all throughout the world, as you could always find a behemoth. Giant Mesosaurus easily dominated the oceans, while colossal theropods and sauropods controlled the land. However, the sky of these prehistoric ages also belonged to the giant's rule since the Asdardishidae, the most notorious family of pterosaurs ever discovered living during this period. These pterosaurs were identified by the elongated necks and legs, and they were well known for growing to enormous sizes. Quetzalcoatlus, a massive pterosaur who ruled the skies of North America and was so magnificent that it was named after the feathered serpent god of the Aztecs, was by far the most well-known and feared of all the members that had come and gone. Many people also believe that it's the biggest animal to have ever flown. But in actuality, there was another member of the Esdarchid family that not only lived at the same time as Quetzalcoatlus, but was possibly even bigger, possibly the largest animal to fly in history. This was Hatsigopteryx. In the 1970s, two big pieces of Petisar's skull and humerus were found in Romania by a dig team led by students. At first, the paleontologists who studied the bones thought they belonged to a new type of theropod because they were so big, but they quickly realized that the bones belonged to a huge Petisar because of how they were structured and shaped. The name Hatsigopteryx thambema, or the Hatzeg Basin wing monster, was given to this enormous pedosaur in 2002, over 30 years after it was first discovered. Despite its obvious impressive size, the Hatzeg portion of the name refers to the ancient Hatzeg Island, which the formidable creature once called home. Paleontologists currently estimate that mature individuals possessed wings spans comparable to that of the Quetzalcoatlus, to that of Quetzalcoatlus, which is generally believed to have been 11 meters or 36 feet in length, making it as wide as the Cessna 172 plane. Meanwhile, the monster part of its name was a nod to its absolutely absurd size. Hatsigopteryx's humerus was longer than Quetzalcoatlus's, which leads to the idea it was even bigger with an estimated maximum length of 12 meters or 39 feet, the longest of any known bird or pedosaur. Even the Hatagopteryx didn't have the bigger wingspan. It was still bigger than all the other pedosaurs combined because it was built like a tank and it was incredibly strong compared to its relatives. It stood 5 meters or 16.5 feet tall, which is about the size of a giraffe. Although its precise weight has never been determined, its height, wingspan, and robustness have led to the idea that it weighed a significant amount more than other enormous pedosaurs such as Quetzalcoatlus. Hatsigopteryx is often regarded as the largest and heaviest pedosaur of all time due to its enormous size. It is also thought to be the largest terrestrial predator that existed in Europe 66 million years ago. Remarkably, too, much of its size resulted from the region it lived in during its existence. Europe was a vast archipelago of small, medium, and big islands among the Hatzig Island. It is believed to have been the size of modern-day Ireland, and it was incredibly remote with vast expanses of deep ocean separating it from land for more than 300 kilometers or 190 miles on both sides. Because there were hardly any other predators on the island at the time, including large theropods, Hatsigopteryx was able to take on the role of top predator and grow to enormous size with little to no competition or threat from other predators. It didn't just grow a massive body on this island, though. It also evolved an incredibly large cranium, the largest of any non-marine animal ever measured at 2.5 meters or 8 feet 2 inches in length. Furthermore, Hatsigopteryx's skull was distinct from the majority of Petasar skulls, which had a gracile build. This was because Hatsigopteryx's head was remarkably strong and thick, with prominent ridges that indicated it had a lot of muscle in its actual form. 